Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai Samalyala. So as you already seen in the thumbnail, in this video, I am going to talk about Josa 2024 counseling. Today's date is 17th June 2024 and officially uh, according to the schedule given by Josa. So today they have announced the mock round to allotment. So uh, I think most of you already checked your allotment, but still I want to show you how you have to check it and what you have to do after that. And there are a few questions here and there after getting mock round or allotment. I'll be clearing all that in this particular video. And also I'll also discuss whether the choices get logged automatically or not in this particular video okay so make sure you watch the video completely to get all the updates related to josa 2024 and if at any point you feel like this video have given you proper information do like this video and also do share this video to all your friends whoever is participating in josa 2024 if you feel that this is going to help them okay and if you still didn't subscribe yet please do subscribe and support me for more content chalo let's go so guys uh, as you all know as i already said mock round 2 allotment is already out now so this is the last mock round before the actual round starts and this is the last round of mock allotment before uh, you like choices editing of choices gets logged so you can't edit it once the actual round starts so that's very important you keep this thing in the mind so that's why mock round 2 allotment is going to be very very crucial okay so first let's see how you can check it so this is the official website right of josa if you click here online registration on choice filling so you will be taken here right here you have to enter your application number and the password and security pin which is below and click on login and you can check mock round allotment details right so let, let me just show you that first okay once you submit your application number password and the security pin and click on login you will get an otp to your mail and mobile number enter that otp and click on submit so once you enter the otp which you reserve to your personal uh, mobile number or email so you can see on the left there is option called view mock seat allocation details so you have to open that when you open that you can see your mock round allotment uh, so you can see this is uh, the mock round allotment which was recorded in the first mock the complete portal is going to look same the only reason which i recorded it before is because uh, when the mock round to allotment will happen or uh, will be allotted i will be in office so i might miss out on giving information so i wanted to give you now so you can see this student got allotted in open category even though he is from aws category let's talk about this later he got allotted in 29th option in nit varangal mechanical and under homestead quota now let's see the choice filling so in order to enter to the choice filling you also again need to enter the otp which you have received in your mobile or email so once you submit this you can just go to manage field choices and you can manage up down and remove or add if you want to add you can just go to choices adding so you can see previously at 29th option there was mechanical engineering but now it is nid durgapur csc now you can see mechanical engineering is almost at the 35th option so that means you have changed after first round of mock allotment which is really a great strategy so let's talk about this as well as we move forward in this video so don't miss out so whenever you make one or two changes click on save changes so that it will save your changes whatever you have made now now that that you have seen your mock round allotment now there are few questions around it so even though the student is of ews category i have shown you say here he is of ews category but he got seat allotment in open category so this is one of the most uh, common doubt among many people so his category is ews but he got allotment in allotted in open category why so the reason is first what what they will do is according to your category rank they'll check which preference you are getting which number of preference you are getting and according to open they will check which preference you are getting for example in his case he got allotted with 29th option right so that means that is in open category that means his EWS seat would be somewhere in the 30 31st 32nd 33 uh, like that right 33rd and all so when compared to 33rd and 29th his preference is 29th so that's why they are going to allot him with 29 for example if your allotted seat in is in your category that means according to your category you are getting a better option in your preferences and compared to open category that's how it is okay so they're going to check in category wise and they're going to check open wise so best of two will be given to you so for example if i'm getting a category wise second option and if I'm getting a first option in open category, they will allot me over first category because I prefer first over second, right? So that's how the preference order will help you, right? So the, so I think this doubt is cleared now. And yeah, next thing is uh, what happens is, so once you got the mock allotment, let's say, if you see, now let, let me show his portal. So if after first round of mock allotment, he got mechanical, which is at 29th position. And then he felt he need to change something so he have pushed that mechanical to 37th option so he have totally again now filled 38th option so he now wanted to keep some CSEs and ECs above that 
some more nids you have added some more triple ids you have added so that's how you have to decide your own strategy after mock round to allotment because once the actual round starts you are not allowed to change anything so that's why if you want to change anything change it before 18th june evening 5 pm so they might extend but don't uh, keep that in the mind and fill it till the last moment so try to complete it by 12 itself so 12 o'clock if whatever changes you want to make on tuesday 18th uh, june try to close it by 12 itself if you want to make any changes your changes should be such a way that whatever mock round allotment you got if you feel like below that if there are any choices which you want but they are below this particular mock allotted seat then in that case put that options above this particular mock round allotment option so that will ensure that even if you get mock round allotment seat in any of the rounds if you put put float there is there are chances that you might get into above options right if you don't put them above whenever this mock, mock allotted seat will again get allotted in actual rounds whatever options are below it's of no use they are not going to consider it for further rounds if you put float even if you put slide right so that's why whatever mock round allotment you got check it properly in your choice list order if you feel like any options are below which you really want but more which you really wanted more compared to whatever you got allotted in mock just take them and put them above that's it okay so that's one of the biggest strategy so please complete this before 18th june 5 pm actual time but i would say try to complete it before 12 o'clock don't keep any thing in the mind for last minute changes i uh, that will affect you that might affect you because don't know don't consider till last moment so anytime try to uh, complete your task as well and before so that it won't ca ca like cause you any issues right and one more thing so will the choices get logged automatically yes even if you don't lock the choices the choices are going to get logged automatically so don't lock it because at the last moment last moment i don't suggest changing in the last moment but if you want to really change something in the last moment but if you locked earlier then you are not allowed to change it so that's why don't lock it let the choices get locked automatically once the deadline is over whatever choices are there on your portal they will consider that so not an issue even if you don't lock also they will consider your choices whatever it's there on the portal okay so that's one of the important thing okay oh so yeah all the best for the actual rounds of josa and if you felt that this video have helped you with the some good information make sure to like the video and do share the video and do subscribe to my channel for more content chalo guys bye bye see you in the next one